The next creative economy won't be built by big agencies with expensive teams and fancy offices. It will be built by individuals who can offer one incredibly powerful service. The ability to create scroll-stopping content for any brand at the speed of AI. A single ad creative package can be a $2,500 service. And while powerful AI tools like VO3 make this seem possible, there's a disconnect that nobody talks about. You end up wasting hours and burning through expensive credits just to get one good shot. Because the AI lacks business context. And the problem gets even worse with custom products. Because unlike a household name, it has zero reference for your client's actual product. That's not a profitable service. It's a frustrating hobby. So I built a system that bridges that gap. It's an automated production line built with N at N that gives the AI the strategic context it's missing. It lets you take a simple product image and turn it into this. Face the Reaper. Taste the Reckoning. And here's the best part. I'll show you how to set up VO3 for free. So your cost for running this entire business model starts at practically zero. All right, let's get started. Every production line needs power. And for our ad factory, that power comes from a few key API connections. First up, Google Cloud. Head to this page to get $300 in API credits for free. Once you've signed up and created your first project, go to this API and services section and find the OAuth consent screen. Click right here, give it a name, then select your email. Next, choose external, add your contact email, hit agree, and then create. Next, create an OAuth client ID. Choose web application as the type. You need your redirect URI, which you can copy directly from the credential section of any Google node inside NNN. This will generate your client ID and secret. Save these somewhere because we're going to need them later. Now we can enable the APIs. Right here at the top, search for and enable three services. The Google Sheets API, the Google Drive API, and the Vertex AI API. Vertex AI is what gives us access to tools like Gemini and VO3. Finally, for our first AI agent, go to AIstudio.com, create a new API key within your project, and save it. That's it. All right, the one-time setup is done. We have our credentials and the services are enabled. Now let's see how the system works in action. Everything starts right here in Telegram. All we have to do is give it a simple command with our product and the creative vibe we're going for and then send it off. That command kicks off the first agent in our workflow. It takes your request from Telegram and automatically produces a perfect on-brand scene for approval. For the Telegram trigger, the setup is pretty simple. If you're new to it, I've linked the video below. Just get your bot credentials from Botfather and add them to N8N. Right here. When you send a message, it triggers our first AI agent. This agent is prompted to act as a creative strategist, coming up with the initial scene and direction for our video ad. The prompt is designed to work for any business. You just need to provide your specific brand DNA. Right here, I've put in a simple prompt you can use to get it. The agent's first job is to consult your Google Sheet, which acts as your product catalog. This sheet needs these columns, the product ID, product name, product type, the product description, and a packaging description. The product ID is critical. It must be the Google Drive file ID of your product's PNG image. In this sheet's node, connect the Google credentials you just created and select your catalog sheet. In the Google Gemini node, simply add the API key you just got from the AI Studio. 
After our agent outputs the creative brief and image prompt for our first scene, the workflow then uses a Google Drive node to download the product reference image from your drive. And don't forget to set up your credentials just like you did with the Google Sheets node. From there, an HTTP request sends that image with our prompt to GPT Image 1 to generate our photorealistic scene. Just add your OpenAI API key right here, which you can grab from platform.openai.com. A convert to file node prepares the image data. Then a Google Drive node uploads the new scene to a designated folder. And then a Google Sheets node logs the creative brief and initial scene prompt into your content database sheet. Finally, two Telegram nodes execute the approval workflow. One sends the generated photo and the other one sends the text brief with an inline keyboard button that says confirm. And there it is, a stunning first frame for our ad creative, ready to go. This is the quality control step that saves a ton of time and credits. Looks good, so let's hit confirm. Confirming that scene now triggers the VO3 workflow which takes that approved image and the creative brief to generate the final video. When you hit confirm in Telegram, a separate Telegram trigger for callback queries activates the video generation process. First, a simple edit fields node unpacks the message data, extracting the approved brief and the prompt for the next step. This data is then fed into our VO3 agent. This is our VFX director. It takes the approved inputs and writes a highly detailed second-by-second -second video prompt. You just have to add your brand DNA to its system prompt. And this section is where it gets really powerful. Here you can set the high-level creative rules for how every video gets made. For example, you could add a rule that forces the AI to write and perform a custom jingle in every single ad just like this one. Drinking the impossible, summer just exploded. Next, a Google Sheets node looks up the approved scene in your content database and grabs its image URL. Then a Google Drive node downloads that image and an extract from file node converts it into a base64 string which is the format that the VO3 API needs. Now the main event, the VO3 HTTP request. In the URL, you must replace the placeholder with your own project ID, which you can get from your Google Cloud dashboard. Under credential type, select Google OAuth API. Here you have to set up your credentials you got from the Google console before. And you have to add this URL to the scope. Then sign in. The JSON body sends our video prompt and the base64 image, which becomes the first frame of the video. And note that VO3 currently only supports a horizontal aspect ratio. I recommend testing with the VO3 fast model as it's a bit cheaper and switching to a higher quality VO3 model once your prompts are dialed in. To swap this call from the fast model to the high quality one, just delete the dash fast and you're good to go. Since VO3 needs time to render, a wait node pauses the workflow. Then another HTTP request fetches the finished video. Again, you must insert your project ID in this URL. And if you're using the standard VO3 model, don't forget to delete the dash fast. An if node then checks if the video is ready. If not, it loops back to wait. Once the video file is received, a convert to file node prepares the data. Finally, a Google Drive node uploads the finished MP4 to your video folder, and a Google Sheet node updates your content database with the final link. The last Telegram node delivers the finished video right back to you in the chat. And here we have the final output, a scroll-stopping ad creative, fully automated with professional grade quality control built right in. Something and nothing. A vibrant escape. 
To get this system running in minutes, the complete end-to-end -end workflow and setup guide are in my free builders library. Click the link in the description to grab it now. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if any questions come up.